friends, it's Emily Girl. We're here at our iHeartRadio headquarters in New York City. And can we show some love for Pink Sweats in the building? Let's give it up for Pink Sweats! <laughs> it's so nice to see you again. It's a pleasure. This, last, last time I saw you was a couple years ago on Zooms. This is real life. Dark time. Oh, dark times. <laughs> um, but we're in full bloom today. So Let's welcome go. to our Pink Sweats garden. Of course, this is in honor of your new song, Bloom. Congratulations. Thank you so Before much. we dive into our game here today, tell us a little bit about the single. So the single is just one of those songs that I feel like to encourage people that like whatever you're going through, your own personal trials, like you can bloom from that. Like it's kind of like the dirt and the rain and the sun, mm -hmm. it all comes together to kind of make you a beautiful flower. <laughs> well, I'm so excited to dive into that with you more. We're gonna learn a little bit more about you. So inside each of these flowers here, we have a little question or a prompt. Okay. So you can pick a flower, answer the question. We'll dive in a little bit. But first I gotta ask you, like, do you have a green thumb? Like, do you can you keep your flowers and plants alive? We're about to see. <laughs> <laughs> Based on these questions. We'll We're gonna see. All right, are you ready to dive in? Go ahead and pick your first one. All right, I'm plotting on this. Let me see. And you can actually pull out the flower too. You can pick it. Oh, really? I'll pick this first one for you. What's the best marriage advice you've ever gotten and who gave it to you? Ooh. Ooh. I feel like my parents and my mm. wife's dad also, they said like similar things. Just like just stay friends. Mm. And like always keep that in mind because, you know, you treat your partner too familiar. Sometimes you kind of forget that like yo this is a person too but like with our friends we're always so understanding and like oh they didn't mean it that way but like when you get married sometimes it's easy to just be like oh that's my wife so she can just get the worst parts of me all the time and yeah. I feel like that friendship thing is like super important. And you're so right it's like you to actively pursue a friendship because you think yeah. about with your friends it's like you cultivate you make plans you do these things it's like yeah. that's actually that's so great I love that. Okay off to a Shout good start. To <laughs> okay you ready to pick another one? Which, this, I know you said you had a strategy going. Uh, You're gonna pick, the, pick flower. the flower, yeah. Pick the flower. They're so pretty. I didn't know. Okay. Okay. Question two. Here we go. What's on your bedroom playlist? Being together so long, how do you keep it fresh and fun? Uh, we like Victoria Monet. Ooh. So just, she's a vibe. Yeah, that's good. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I also love that your wife is here too, by the way. <laughs> we have funny in the building. This is great. How do you keep it? Oh, it's two questions. How do you keep it fresh and fun? Honestly, because uh, you know, being together a long time, sometimes it can, dates, you know, get, like we love going yeah. out and doing like spontaneous things. Like sometimes we'll just go somewhere, like anywhere. Like I'm like, yo, let's go fly to Connecticut to get some pizza or something, and just like. Doing fun stuff. Keeping it spontaneous, like, just like in your everyday life as well. Yeah, yeah, just waking up and being like, all right. So picking those days where you're like, yo, let's let the day take us. Just kind of like when you were dating, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, it goes back to the friendship thing too. Someone you want to hang out with all the time as well. Yeah, like you, end, you can end up doing anything when you're hanging with your friend. Yeah, like you it's be like, so yo, true. You be like, yo, like sometimes she want to go out. I'm like, all right, well, on Friday, I'm going to dedicate all my time to like whatever you want to do. And oh, we just I love go, that club hop, little local bars and stuff like that. So Do you guys have designated date nights as well? Not really, but we have like a certain amount a month that we try to do. Like okay. we try to do like at least two to three a month. Okay, that's minimum. good, yeah. Minimum, okay, I love that. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pick one for you now too, is that okay? Let's do it. All right. This is set up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't reveal our secrets, Big Zuts. Okay, what's your favorite inside joke or phrase that you share? Inside joke. Have you seen on TikTok people will share their different like ways they languages they communicate? Do you guys have a certain That's a hard joke that one. Like... Yeah, I feel like we probably do, but I'm just not aware of it right now <laughs> on the spot. We honestly we just look at each other. I was about to say, I feel like you guys it's could like probably just look. like make eyes and know. Like yeah, we've been in like a lot of weird situations where we like, is this really happening? And we'll just like look at each other and start laughing. <laughs> It's can like communicate a, across the room. Something that we say like when we come back from like hanging out. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Back from hanging out with my girlfriend or something like that. What does Muddy say? We're really putting you to the test. What's the tea? What's the tea? What's the tea? <laughs> What's the tea? But that's not like a. I feel like everybody does that. No, that's good. You that's like the tea. You like to be in okay, the, the, the inner circle. The okay, the okay, we'll take it. We vibe. My bad. All right, you want to pick another one? Yeah, that was a hard one for some reason. That that one is a hard one. All right, what you got next? Oh, wait, I didn't pluck the flower. <laughs> Follow the rules. Follow the rules, you What's the most adventurous thing you've done as a couple to spice your life up? 
Ooh, I don't know if I can say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> the giggles in the back. Um, we, you don't have to answer it if you don't want to. We can skip yeah, that. We know. can just that. We, you don't have to tell iHeartRadio that. Um, okay, let's pick another one. I would have had to make up something. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Has a stranger ever changed your life? Um, now we're getting introspective that's on you. deep yeah. yeah honestly yeah I feel like uh, what comes to mind so it, I feel like I meet strangers all the time in my line of work um, but I feel like just people telling their stories like mm. I, I love I'm, I, I'm a songwriter so I love stories I love hearing about people's lives and where they come from and how they arrive at the point that they are in and I would say it's been a lot of different people that's you know strangers who have had impact on my life and I remember a specific event I was in the Philippines, and when I went there, I felt like I was kind of depressed. Mm. And it was like these two ladies, they were riding on the back of a truck, and it was like a pickup. So they were just on the back, and it just started pouring, raining. And like, they were just smiling the whole time, and like, just so happy. Mm. And I just remember feeling like, dang, like, why am I tripping? Like, mm. whatever, like, nothing can be that bad where what I'm seeing right now, these women are just in the rain, just like, like laughing, what, what are we gonna, yeah. joking with each other. And I was like, that's life right there. Finding the joy, making the most yeah. of the, all of the moments. Oh, that's beautiful. That's Did you did you get to talk to them or you just witnessed it? I didn't really like, get to talk to them. They were oh, strangers. Right, but that's, that's actually yeah. even cooler that that image is just in your yeah. mind. We were wow. driving next oh to God. them. And I, I was love like, that. yo, this is insane. Like, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to pick another one for you. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go over here. You keep picking freaky stuff. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> Let's see. I know. I'm like, what is this one? Oh, actually, I love this one. Okay. What is your wife's pet peeve about you? <laughs> about me? Is, uh, does she have a pet peeve? She definitely does. I'm trying to remember. It's something I do. Bunny, you know? Do you want to chime in? You can tell. You tell it. You leave snotty tissue. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, she hates when I leave my tissues Not around. Not the tissues. I like going those and then I'll and just, just leave it. <laughs> like a kid. <laughs> Is yeah. that the one that you had in mind or are you going to say something else? When I leave the bathroom open and I'm taking a number two. <laughs> <laughs> so you're at that level of comfortable. I yeah, love it. Sure. Respect. Respect. She's like, dang. Why? Or no, because we got two bathrooms in our condo. So she goes there and instead of me going to the other one, I'll go like where she's doing her makeup. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to be close? <laughs> she hates That's actually hysterical. Okay, I love it. Learning so much about you. Okay, you wanna, let's pick a few more. Okay. All right. Let's go. This Dive is in. Fun. Yeah, this is good. Okay, I you like pick this. the next one. This is way better than the Zoom call. <laughs> way better. Cool. We've come so far. This is it. Okay, let's see. What's the best compliment Bunny has ever given you? Kindest thing she's ever done for you? Yeah, best compliment or Ooh, kindest best thing? Best compliment. She compliments me all the time, so that's hard, honestly. She's just always, like, super... What means the most to you? When I'm able to make her proud, mm -hmm. like, through whatever, if, what we're doing. Like, yeah. a lot of times she's like, yeah, I'm so proud of you, like, for doing that or making the right decision on wow. something. Yeah, yeah that's beautiful. pretty cool. What about kindest thing she's ever done The for kindest you? thing she's ever done is she always remembers, like, holidays and stuff for, like, my family, and um, to me, I, th I think that's like super cool because I never really did that kind of stuff and mm -hmm. I never really had that. So like she kind of really is like, oh, make sure we do this, make sure we do that. And then like when we got married, she wrote everybody like handwritten letters oh. at the wedding. Oh, that's beautiful. And I beautiful. thought that was like, I never would have did that. <laughs> but I thought like as like a representation of my yeah. wife, I just thought that was just <clears throat> was so cool and it made me look like I definitely chose the right person for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. And love is in the details. Yeah. Like to be seen in that way. Yeah, like we had a lot of people at that wedding and they were just like, yo, how did she, did she Were your hands yeah. cramping? <laughs> yeah, she wrote all those handwritten letters. Oh, that's so thoughtful. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna pick another one for you. Let's do a couple more. Okay. Okay, I feel like this is true for any couple. What is the one reoccurring fight you and Bunny have? Me, is there... al me always spending money on people, giving people money. Oh. <laughs> She's like, stop doing that. <laughs> like, literally all the time. I love that you knew immediately. You didn't have yeah. to think about that one. I just had that one. <laughs> She's like, you don't have to do that. I'm like, well, I want to. 
help the generous spirit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. Okay. Oh, that's such a real argument. No, no, no. I feel like that is real with couples. Yeah, no. Okay. You want to pick another? All right. No, I you think pick I did another one. one. Oh, ooh. Yeah. Okay. Let's do, let's do this one. Okay. All right. <sighs> oh, heard someone say the world is done, but with you, I feel it's just begun. I'm living, living finally. Yeah, that's fire. That's a lyric from my song, Bloom, right? It is. And this was one of our favorite lyrics that we found, because I feel like we all had our own like special meanings about it. But I'm yeah. curious to hear your interpretation. I mean, that. for me, it's like falling in love. It's like you feel like, especially in this generation, love just feels the furthest away from everyone. Mm. Like everyone feels like, dang, like maybe I'll never find it. And I feel like when you find somebody you really connect with, it feels like, dang, like all the things you hoped and dreamed of like, oh, this, now I'm really living. Like, not that you can't do that, but it's just another level and experience to life to know that like somebody's rocking with you through. So true. All the turmoil, all the joy. You just got a built-in partner. Absolutely. And the world, I feel like is such a scary place sometimes. The all nice the is just all the time. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That it's just nice to know. I feel like that's what I thought. It's nice to know that you're like, okay, you have someone with yeah. you on the journey. Like you can find joy, like you said, in these other moments. Yeah, you get to have somebody to argue with. <laughs> <laughs> like that's fun. Like even though it sounds crazy, like her checking me about certain things, it's like naturally I wouldn't check myself. So that probably would lead to more of a destructive thing. If I just keep giving away money, then I look around one day, I'm like, oh. Where did it all go? <laughs> yeah. It's like challenging you in the right way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's so healthy. Pick the last one, Pink Sweats. Are you sure? I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, wait, what do you know? What do you know? <laughs> uh, this one's crumbled a lot, so I feel like this is important. <laughs> How would you describe the feeling of being in love in three words? Oh, this is such a good one to end on. Okay. Ooh. Being in love in three words. Spontaneous, amazing, chaos. Chaos? Yeah, chaos in a good way, though. Oh, okay. What do you mean by what do you mean by chaos? Experience? I feel like chaos is just like you you never figure it out. Mm. That like I, I guess I could have found a different word, but that's what I mean. But it's like the free fall of it all. You're yeah, like, you're fully trusting like, someone even, else to like. You watch people jump out of planes. There's always a point where it's like it looks like they're in control, but like you're never fully in control. Like anything could happen. Mm. You feel comfortable, and then it's like oh, a new shift. You learn something about like you're constantly learning your partner. They're learning you. You are learning you in so a different true. way. So yeah. was it hard for you to free fall, like to get past that? Or was that something that came easily to you? No, I'm kind of one of those people. I just jump into stuff. Like once I make up my mind, I'm not like an indecisive person. I'd make, that could be bad. <laughs> but like once I make up my mind, I'm like, all right, jump. <laughs> like we live. You're out of the plane. Yeah, I'll to think go. about it like, all right. Hmm. All right, we just got to And then now it. you're all in. Yeah, because if I all think too then. long, I'll never do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we love this pink sweats. It's so nice to get to like chat with you. What about you? What do you mean? What's three words you would say? Oh, about love? Ooh, oh my God. Okay, I didn't plan this, huh? Um, I'm currently not in love right now. Okay. So I feel like I like, I would say trust. We were talking about that. Trust. <clears throat> Fun, is that yeah. like too simple? And maybe a foundation. Foundation. <laughs> oh yeah, foundation, that's good. I feel like you have to start with like the same sort of thing and then you can have fun and whatever, yeah. but you gotta be on the same level. Okay, I like that. Do you that. like that? I really like that. Okay, but I was very unprepared for that. I know I'm gonna look back and be like, I could have come up with Me three either. way better words. <laughs> That was hard, right? Like but that was spot. hard. That was hard. Okay, I don't like playing the garden unless you're picking. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. It's good though. Your um, answer's really good. Okay, thank you. Um, this is so fun, Big Sweats. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. For hanging out in our garden. This was great. Can we get up one more time for Big Sweats in our studio? Thank you. And congratulations on Bloom. We absolutely love the track. We love you. Thank you for being here. And thank you all for watching. Make sure you stream all of Pink Sweats music on iHeartRadio. And we'll see you next time. Let's get it. Bye guys. Woo! Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. See you next time.